a cold-blooded murderer who stabbed his neighbor to death in a row over motorbike noise has been jailed for life after telling police, killing people is not always a bad thing. Warning. This story contains images of blood Jamie Crosby stabbed Dean Alsop 17 times after becoming annoyed when the victim's teenage son revved the engine of a motorbike in April last year. Norwich Crown Court heard. Police body cam footage showed Crosby's face and hands covered in blood after the killing, as he told officers arresting him on suspicion of murder. That's a good thing. I'm very happy about that. Norfolk police described a scene of carnage when officers arrived. After Crosby had also stabbed Mr. Alsop's partner Louise Newell and neighbor Karen Cray, who had come out to help, the 48-year-old killer, who was convicted of murder and wounding with intent following a trial last month, was given a life sentence on Wednesday and told he would serve a minimum of 28 years. Sentencing Crosby, Judge Anthony Bates told him, I regard you as a very dangerous man. Police described Crosby as an extremely violent man and said Mr. Alsop had been killed in a cold-blooded attack, in which he had been stabbed as he lay face, down and motionless, on the evening of the murder. Father of three Mr. Alsop and his son had been working on their motorbikes in Primrose Crescent in Thorpe St. Andrew, near Norwich. Mr. Alsop's son had revved the engine of one of the motorbikes which annoyed Crosby, who went to his window and made hand gestures towards the pair. The court heard. It led to a verbal row in the street before Crosby armed himself with a knife and a saw. After seeing his neighbor with the weapons, Mr. Alsop rang 999 and said he was being threatened by his neighbor who had a knife. During the call, Mr. Alsop could be heard telling his son to go inside before the 41-year-old was attacked by Crosby and stabbed multiple times. Mr. Alsop's son went home and armed himself with a knife before returning to help his father only to find him seriously injured and covered in blood. Killer stabbed victim's partner in Chess Crosby then tried to attack Mr. Alsop's son, who retaliated and left the killer with injuries to his head and hand. The teenager then returned home again and raised the alarm with his mother. Crosby went back to his home before returning to the scene a few minutes later, where Mr. Alsop had collapsed and was lying face down and motionless on the ground. Crosby stabbed Mr. Alsop again in the back before turning on the victim's partner and the neighbor who had come out to help. Norfolk police said, Mr. Alsop was pronounced dead at the scene and a post-mortem examination showed a fatal stab wound to the chest. The court heard that Crosby had used two knives and a saw to kill his victim. Mr. Alsop's partner, Ms. Newell, was stabbed in the chest and suffered a deep cut to her head, while neighbor Ms. Cray suffered a serious stab wound to the neck. Crosby was initially arrested on suspicion of assault and then later for murder, when he told officers, that's a good thing, I'm very happy about that, killing people is not always a bad thing, police said the killing had striking similarities to a previous incident in 2018 where Crosby threatened Mr. Olsop with a knife and hammer after Mr. Olsop put some rubbish in his neighbor's wheelie bin. Crosby was convicted of weapons and criminal damage offenses and given a suspended prison sentence for the 2018 incident. Following his arrest after Mr. Alsop's death, Crosby denied murder and pleaded guilty to the lesser offense of manslaughter by diminished responsibility, which the prosecution did not accept. He was convicted by a jury of murder and the wounding with intent of two women, while being cleared of two counts of attempted murder. Victim's partner pays tribute to best friend and soulmate in a statement following Crosby's conviction. Mr. Alsop's partner Ms. Newell said, I cannot put into words how this has affected our whole family. My children have lost their hero and I have lost my chosen person. The person I chose to spend my life with. My best friend. Soulmate. My first love. Our lives will never be the same without Dean. But we will continue to keep his memory alive. Senior Investigating Officer Detective Chief Inspector Phil Gray said, This was a cold-blooded attack by a man intent on causing extreme harm to others. Dean suffered 17 stab wounds to his body, some of which were inflicted when he was lying face down and motionless. Crosby's savage attack didn't stop there. He stabbed two people who had come to help Dean, one suffering an arterial bleed to her neck. Crosby is an extremely violent man who has no place in society.